Hey, kindergarten, I have our story, Little Bunny Foo Foo, that we've been working on in class. Hopefully you've been acting out with your hands to your parents. I'll do a little bit of both here, where I will maybe use my hands sometimes, and I thought I would share with you how somebody else loves the story just as much as we do. So this is Little Bunny Foo Foo, the real story, and it's by Corey Dorfeld. Okay, so go ahead and sing along. I like the pictures in this book. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest. Looks like she's making something there. You see, it's kind of hard to see, but these are all the mice. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. <laughs> you see her? Along came the good fairy. And she said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I will give you two more chances to behave like a good little bunny. If you don't, I will turn you into a monster. Hmm. Oh no, if you look at her basket, look at those nasty little mice. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice. Hmm. And bopping him on the head. Down came the good fairy. And she said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping him on the head. If I catch you misbehaving again, I will turn you into a monster. But when the good fairy left, hoo -hoo, little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice, ee, and bopping them, and bopping them, and bopping them on the head. Hoo -hoo. Down came the good fairy. That's it, she cried. Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Cause I'm, I'm going to turn you into a, a oh. And down went the good fairy, who tasted good indeed. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed.